Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with a fresh podcast. You fuck with Breaking Bad at all? Woo! We just took this part to fucking next level. That's what ASX is called, too. What are you doing in the corner? Just smacking my ass together. It scares just... me so bad I got a boner. I am shocked by this hair coming out of my ass. I puke my guts out. Is there a bomb dropping back to- Run, guys! I'll hit old man in public. I am your fucking savior. Savior. The Nerd Shed Podcast. Hey guys, what's up you magical little beings? Nerd Shed Podcast, I am Matt. I'm Justin, what the fuck's up? It's been a while. Oh, it's been a, a whole two weeks. Suck it! Whole two weeks with no Nerd Shed, man. Well, I, mi- you know, I missed it. We're gonna make up for it now. I almost just like came out here last Saturday <laughs> and just like did a show by myself. I'm gonna... This but one's... I was like, I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> I try to talk to myself, it doesn't work out as well as I thought. Like, when I'm by myself, it's okay, but when other people try to listen, meh, that's when it gets sketchy. I'm sketchy. This is the podcast where we talk about music, movies, video games, and everything et, in between. Et cetera. <laughs> yeah. The et. hard et cetera. Like, oh, not the soft, because nobody no. wants that weak shit. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee's weak! We have nerdshed.net if you want more information about us. Yeah, you can find all the links to uh, available platforms that we are on. So, yeah. uh do it yeah and there's a facebook page you can like us there yo we're uh, the old thumbs up four away from 700 yes sir and then the instagram we do stuff every now and then yeah every now and then and then the <laughs> twitter which is almost non-existent <laughs> it's just kind of there i'm pretty sure trump has commented on our thing one time like yeah you no. guys should probably just stop that <laughs> and we said no because <laughs> we're fucking rebels i thought you were gonna say and uh Right back at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you <should> just stop. <laughs> Resignations. What's that? <laughs> but yeah, that's what uh, that's what I forgot. Remember two weeks ago when we were doing like the whole intro to the show, and I was like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yes. I never said this is the podcast where we talk about music, movies, and video games. So the people that were listening had no idea what they were no, for. They were like, Oh wow, so, car bitches! They just walked into a nothing. I apologize for that because you guys went in completely blind. You know what? I don't apologize. <laughs> now we're now we're number 50 50 so we're back we're kosher again the heartstrings just <clears throat> yeah and uh since we didn't have a show last week we have a lot to talk about this week we have, we have an ungorgeous amount i don't know what that means i, I'm pretty sure I just like, made it out and gore and gorge uh, i thought you said like ungorgeous like it's ugly yeah we have <laughs> we, we we're, have a we're, hideous we're, amount of stuff to we talk are about. talking about the straight up zombie shit ew I've never thought about this, but what would a zombie shit be? Because I'm assuming zombies have to poop. Yeah, they're eating all that human meat. Yeah. Like, would it come out super fibery? Or you, like, see some fingers? <gasps> Reverse fingered up the butt, but out the butt. Uh, but are they swallowing the fingers whole? Good question. I don't know. Do, do they do it like... No, I thought that they just, like... sticks? Just... No, I thought they did it kind of like a chicken wing where they just peel the meat off the bone. Oh, you know? that you know what? It, it, there might not be actual fingers popping out. It's finger flush. That's about it. Yeah. Good call. Good call. Yeah, it probably just comes out like regular poop. I yeah, guess. nobody's literally ever thought about this, ever. Yeah, we're, we're never, pioneers here at the nursery. We have never seen a zombie shit. Where do they poo? Hmm? I want to know. Yeah, I've never seen that. In, do they uh, have like a corner of the city where they just keep all their shit? Uh, maybe like uh, the next time they make like a Dawn of the Dead or something, they could incorporate that in. Yeah, instead of yeah. I am legend, I am shitty. <laughs> like, like they're like trapped in the shopping mall or something and they're trying to find a way out and they walk into the bathroom and like, there's just uh, a zombie in the stall just like... And like uh, the grossest <laughs> diarrhea noise. <laughs> It sounds like a demon thing being exercised out of their bee holes. Oh, that'd be so dirty, though. There was shit everywhere. You might want to let that air out for a couple hours. What was that one movie with Eddie Murphy and uh, Jeff Garner? I think Daddy Daycare, where he just walks into the bathroom. And... <laughs> That's what I'm out. I'm just, I'm out. Like, yeah, zombies, you could eat me, but don't poop me. Because that's going to be painful. You can eat me, but don't poop me. <laughs> I don't want to be shit. <laughs> Just keep eating my thumb tum Life energy. Yeah, well, this is how we start the show off yeah. every single time with something that is completely unrelated, but pops into the brain. Right. It's just, it's a good way to start the conversation. Yeah. Like, if you guys have not checked out the behind the scenes, go check that out because that will show you. <laughs> that will show <laughs> That was the first time I've ever done that. I'm pretty sure I just short circuited. I hit the shot. What are you doing? Ah! Oh. Some called a seizure. Ah! Oh. I hurt my back on that one. Fuck yeah! 
Oh, oh sorry. A little quiet boy. boy. That's better, oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, you want to dabble on some duties? Huh? No idea. Dabble on a duty. What? Dabble on a duty. <laughs> I feel like it's a new dance move. <laughs> dabble on the duty. That, that can uh, be like the next on the uh, duty. Whip and nene or whatever. Yeah. Just Instead of like whipping and naying, you like you shit and then. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Poo throw. Okay, you just want to dive into some topics here? Oh, full blow. No skybing. Skybing gear. Scuba gear. <laughs> I'm, I'm scuba diving. It's a skydive into a scuba. Well, this is some old news. We were going to talk about it last week. But, yeah, well, we're going to um, talk about it this week now. <laughs> so, Apple had this thing called air power. <laughs> if you take your phone outside, it'll charge from air. <laughs> no, so basically it was like this charging mat. That you could charge up Matt. to. Matt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a charging mat, and you can charge up to three devices at once. So, like, let's say you have your iPhone, your Apple Watch, and your uh, douche pods. AirPods. <laughs> douche pods. <laughs> douche pods. <laughs> oh, God, they make me so sad. Uh, so you could charge all three of those at once on this mat. That's kind of cool. But apparently... Uh, it's been out for, like, ten years now. <laughs> What Android stuff? Oh, really? Yeah, they had fucking when I still lived at my dad's house, I was gonna get him one for Christmas. Oh yeah, I remember it was fucking like char- Duracell you put your made phone. One. Yeah. yeah, put your phone, tablet, and shit onto it. Yeah. It's, well, if it's so well, Apple, you know, they have to make their own version of everything that costs four times as more. Yeah, this is a uh, oh. special edition. It's white. Yeah, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was like this white map. Um, but apparently, like, they just had to come out and say, like. Yeah, we can't make this work right. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you announce something that right. you can't even perfect? I like, guess they've been trying to make it since 2015. What the fuck? You guys have five years almost and yeah. so much unlimited resources, money. Like, you're right. one of the right. biggest companies on earth. I bet Steve Jobs would have had that bitch out in Yeah, 2016. Steve would have been getting hand jobs to get that one done. <laughs> like, come here, bro. We're going to fucking get this shit done tonight. <laughs> you're my number one customer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder if that, that yeah. that'd be funny if that was middle name. But like Stephen Hand Jobs. <laughs> How embarrassing is that? Like, as a company, like you like say like, "Hey, we have this really awesome idea, but we can't make it work." I'm, like, I'm, I'm sorry, we're not smart right now. Like, maybe they should like get a working <laughs> prototype before you even announce. Yeah, that you're trying and to then make it. go through some test runs, give yeah. some people some trials, and then see yeah. if it works. We're talking beta test. Yeah, alpha, beta male. <laughs> Apple just stands in the corner. You're fucking charging that, right? It's fucking right. <laughs> Getting their nice and deep now, boy. boy. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. But uh, I mean, I'm assuming it's, it's going to go downhill. I feel like for the past like five years or so, Apple is just running out of shit to do. Right. They're just recycling, and they're trying to upsell it so they make more money for the time, but... Within the next 10 years, unless they do something completely brand new that's innovative, I feel like they're just... Well, that's the thing. I feel like they just do, like, the Galaxy S10 from Samsung like, yeah. just came out. I guarantee the next iPhone is just going to be Dude. on par with that. Yeah, the S10e, because we just got that for uh, Jess. Dude, the S10e is a solid phone. Yeah. Like, they, they made it a lot more kind of, mm-hmm. like, user-integrated. Still same as, like, you know, most of the operating processes. Yeah. But holy shit, the amount of memory that I think it's like 128 gigs. Oh. And it has micro SD slot. Oh, sweet. See, I think you could get up to two terabytes or something. Jeez. Yeah, man. fuck me running. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know you're a nerd when you get excited about fucking storage. Like, oh my nips Dude, just got storage hard. is at a at a premium right now. Right? Man. The, the more it's up the better. The cloud. <laughs> No, I don't like that cloud shit. Like I, I don't like, either. I like knowing where my shit's Physical. at. Physical. Like if yeah. I have a hard drive, I can keep it in my drawer. Right. Yeah. So I can, you know, not lose it forever. Cloud? No. You get a nice breeze one day, gone. Right. <laughs> or that like was... Google, like their facilities, like burn to the ground or something like that. Like Mappy. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing they have like offsite storage somewhere. I'm but... assuming, dude. Speaking of like storage, did you see the uh, picture of the black hole? For the first time, yeah, it's we're gonna get to that. Oh, you just want to go into it now? <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of so I'm, done, I'm done with the air power. Like I don't know. What oh yeah, say. yeah. Fuck you, Apple. Okay. Yeah. So the <laughs> the picture of the black hole. How about that? Oh, it looks like a big old a, hole. It's a massive achievement. That is that that is the first time like, that like a theory has been completely proved. And yeah, 
the amount of like nobody goes into how much in depth they had. They had to have seven satellites aligned at the exact same time. Yeah, like it was like what, like twenty countries or something, yeah, were all working together. To get this one thing at to the work. South Pole, North yeah. Pole, America, <sighs> Europe, and shit, just all pointing into one area. And then what was that picture of uh, the memory bank? Oh yeah, yeah, it all was, the hard drives and what, shit. What like six million gigabytes or some shit Something just to process those images? Yeah, because it's like what fifty six light years away. Yeah, fifty five. Yeah, fifty five million light years. Yeah, fifty five million light years away. That, and I the... can't even fathom how to look that far into space. Fifty five million years ago, that's not even what it looks like now. This was a long time when dinosaurs were around. Yeah, before the big bomb came out of the sky and went boom. <laughs> yeah, it's in the. M87 galaxy or something like that. Yeah, 55 yeah, yeah. million light years away. I know we're getting okay. a little nerdy for him, but oh, well, I don't care. This I, is like, I, I read like the whole New York Times article about Dude, it. I was space like, this is, is crazy. one of those things that will forever blow mm. my mind, and it I, like mm. I hate thinking about it because thinking of something that never ends. Yeah, my well, shit that's, load. I'm reading this article and they're talking about like how the gravitational pull. Of this black hole is, is so strong that light can't escape it. No. And, like, there's a potential that, like, our galaxy can just... Yeah. We're gone. We're gone. We, we don't know because we've never experienced anything. Yeah. Like, we've never had physical proof that this exists. Right. Now that we know, that's fucking scary. Right. Like, you're going to have Thanos' yeah. ass come in and just... Because, like, that <laughs> that ring, you know, that you see... Around yeah, it that's like the orange and yellow. Yeah, and that's that. all the light getting sucked into it. Yeah, and it's being sucked in so fast that it's well, burning at billions yeah, of degrees. Yeah, it's just like fucking gasifying every yeah. single thing. Like, oh my god, I could talk about this shit for days because it. it I don't know why I get so excited it's about it. Crazy, I know. <laughs> but, I love making my brain juices move. Yeah, and what's even crazier is like, like you said. Einstein called that shit how and long ago? Before computers were fucking even invented. Yeah, I can't even, <laughs> like, somebody's brain that can work like that. Nah, you, you win everything. You should be president. <laughs> I feel like even Albert Einstein, not alive, would be a better president. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's very good. <laughs> I, I think but, he might have been, like, part German. Albert Einstein? Probably. More than likely. I came from Germany. He's an immigrant. Yeah. Aren't we all, though? Not if you ask Donald Trump. Why don't you kick yourself out? <laughs> You're an immigrant too. Nice. So Mickey Tump. <laughs> bump, 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 bump. Well, that'd be interesting. What if we did like elect Albert Einstein president, and then like anytime an issue came up, they just went back and like looked through all his theories, and they're like, "Well, this says this, so yeah. that's how it's got to be." <laughs> At this point, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> We've already seen some bullshit, so why not throw some more at us? Is that a fucking donkey? That's a nice ass hair on that donkey, though. Get it? Nice Got ass it. hair. Because <laughs> it's a jackass. Oh, well, that's the sour. I like to drink like I just first like came out of the womb. <laughs> What's he doing? He's just trying to get some air. I don't know. <laughs> Suckling on the teeth of life. <coughs> yep, that's what it'll do to you. <coughs> Just fucks you up. Goddamn titty milk every time. <laughs> oh, I need to keep my shit straight over here. I got kneecaps wet. Ever had that? Just one little time. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not one. <laughs> oh, damn the devil. Damn the devil to hell. I love little Michael. Let's see. Where can we go from the super nerdy black hole talk? <laughs> um. Oh, my God. Have you seen that new porn called The Black Hole? Isn't that all of them? <laughs> I can't see. Ah, it's winking. <laughs> um, you know you got skills when you can turn a booty on. Winks at me. Well, let's just talk about this since this is your territory. Oh, Avengers Endgame. Have you heard about the ticket sales? No. So apparently it's, um, in its first day of sales, it sold like three times more than. And it hasn't even Infinity dropped War. yet. Yeah. It doesn't come out, what, till April 26th, yeah. which me and Jess are going, because we I think we're on uh, vacation that week. We're going to see it that night. It comes nice. out. But apparently, <clears throat> Fandango had to create, like, a waiting room because it was going to, like, crash their servers because Holy of how many people fuck. were trying to buy tickets. That's crazy. This is going to be the movie that kind of, like, fucking ends all the Marvel movies just because it is kind of, like, the end of right. it. 
Uh, yeah. I'm kind of sad at the same time because there's an era that's gone. Like, I remember when the first Incredible Hulk came out with mm-hmm. fucking Ed Norton in it. Yeah. Like, that kick started off all this shit for me, I feel. It's just going to come to a closer, man. We'll go through and do some uh, 33 hour movie marathons. Jeez. Did you hear about that? I think it was an AMC theater was playing every single Marvel movie oh, yeah. for a marathon. I think it was like 33 or 36 hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think straight. something 30 like, something hours. What the right. fuck are you going to do? It's like you might get some back probs. You've been sitting in the same position. <laughs> right. You've pissed yourself four times. I would not miss yeah. Thanos again. Did, did you see the um there's like a thing going around on Facebook about like the order that you're supposed to watch all the movies. Yeah. Right? Cause, well, I think Last year they had like this, or two years ago it was on Facebook, but they had a huge like timeline of oh. all the movies that they did and all the movies that were coming up and stuff. Oh, yeah, like, I saw oh that, chronological yeah. order. Because we had to watch uh, Captain Marvel before Endgame just because all these movies fucking tie into each other so many different ways. Right. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Unless you've like been keeping up on it for the past like eight years, you're. There's a lot of movies to watch. Yeah, a lot of time. <laughs> nah, I can't do that. I can't sit still for more than two seconds, so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you going to sit in a theater for three hours and... Ten minutes, minutes. Yeah. whatever the fuck it is. <sighs> it's going to be rough. I'm going to have a pee bag. <laughs> just... That's how I pee. Just... That's it. It comes out, <laughs> it comes out like a little spit. Just... <laughs> Austin Powers in that one movie with uh, Mini-Me when he drank in the water... <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throwing the apple from Minnie's me hand. Like, oh, dang. <laughs> He's a tripod. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. Oh, right. Run it like a bird out of hell. Meatloaf, man. Not the food. The singer. I like both. <laughs> I'm getting down some classy ass meatloaf, you know? Fucking classic. So there was, uh, I don't remember where this was exactly, but these, uh, the police respond to this domestic disturbance call. Panama, probably. Yeah, or Florida. Panama. Oh, always Florida. <laughs> yeah. Police rescue an alligator getting trapped by a man. So the, the police are responding to this domestic call, and they don't know the situation or whatever, so they're outside the house, and they have their guns drawn or whatever, and they're, like, telling the people to come out of the house and whatnot. Absolutely. This dude just drives up. It's out of his car, full Batman suit. Badass. <laughs> like, and I'm, then, I'm coming out, bro. <laughs> yeah, he, he walks up to, like, the police line or whatever, and is like, I'm here to help. <laughs> Where is she? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, Bruce. <laughs> and the police just tell him, like, dude, you can't be here. You need to get out of here. Like, we don't know the situation. He just like, does a couple rolls into that. <laughs> right, like... <laughs> Like, you might yeah, get killed. It, there's a video of it. I just thought that was hilarious. But, like, he just, like, drives up and is like, I'm here to save the day. And the police are like, get the fuck out of here, dude. Dude, speaking of, like, tr- people try to be real-life superheroes and it doesn't work out that well. No, no, it, no that guy would probably no. get his ass kicked by anybody. But I think it was either in uh, Washington, the state, not D.C., Dick Capitol. Nice mic bump. Cheers. <laughs> but uh, anyways, in the, yeah, the state of Washington, there was, I think uh, five years ago, there was like a group of fucking like people that went out and were vigilantes, but they dressed up and they had like their own fucking costumes and shit that weren't like made from comic books or anything. But apparently this dude was like an ex-MMA fucking Marine or some shit. And like he would actually go around and beat the fuck out of people that were like terrorizing the city. And people nice. were commending him for it. Like he right. had a group of like five or six people. Think of Kick-Ass 2. When yeah. they're all sitting in it, that's what they all look like. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I was like, dude, that's kind of like fucking sick. He's There's only one of them left now. Dude, that started it, but that's still kind of badass. Yeah, it is. I've always like somewhere deep down inside wanted to be a superhero, but I know that I can't run past and or do anything really, so <laughs> I'll be uh, Professor X and just sit in a chair. <laughs> what are you doing? I farted. <laughs> you ever think that hard? I have irritable bowel syndrome, so <laughs> ibs. <laughs> do you ever think, like, do you think there's a real-life Dexter out there, like a guy that goes around and hunts killers? Dude, I have gone through this so many times in my brain that there's, like, imagine how many, because you know all about the unsuccessful serial killers. What about the ones that never fucking got caught? Right. That are still doing this shit to this day. And if they're, like, vigilantes like that, 
fuck it, help. Yeah. <laughs> Works for me. Like, you're taking off the shit off the streets, so... Who am I to say no? I'm not doing anything. I just sit here in a chair and talk to people. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? <laughs> <sighs> people probably think I have multiple personalities, but I only have four. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jude ah! Did you see the trailer for the Joker movie? Yes! Dude, I got goosebumps oh. from it <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> That's another one that me and Jess are gonna see as soon as it comes out The fucking laugh in that like it's gave awesome. me goosebumps yeah. from it I think it's gonna be good and they're, they're portraying it as a guy that got fucked up by society over time, and that's what happened. Like, you're seeing a whole entire different side to these comics that nobody's ever done before. Right. They're trying to make you, like, sympathetic towards the fucking villains as to what made them happen. How did they become like that? Well, he got fucked with for, like, 15 yeah. years, so. Right. So. I'm, I'm pretty sure anybody's going to have a breaking point at some time. Just the gotta whole, put a uh, smile on your face. I think all the people that grew up being bullied are now, like, you know... Like you they can, have their voice now. So yeah, can, you you relate to some things, and yeah. like you never realize as a child that you relate more to the villains than you right. do the actual superheroes. I mean, that's kind of awesome though. At the same time, because you see it from two different perspectives growing up, like crazy. And I just had some stutters happen. Are you gonna invite me to see this movie with you guys? You guys, you, fuck yeah. Okay. You guys want to go see it with us? Yeah. It comes out October, I believe. Probably. Yeah, but I'm totally down for that. Okay. Fucking A. Yeah, that'll be a sweet, because then we can do a full, solid breakdown of the Joker as soon as it comes out, because that is one of those movies I would not want to miss. I think I've only ever seen Joaquin Phoenix in Walk the Line. Yeah, Joaquin like, Phoenix has been in, like, a fuck ton of movies, yeah. but he's one of those guys that, because his brother was River Phoenix, which I think, like, mid-90s or something, I think after his brother passed away or something, he kind of, like, stopped. That sounds right. Doing it for a while, and then he finally slowly started to come back. But he's one of those guys that is like a method actor. Like, he'll do the exact same thing like fucking Heath Ledger did and lock himself in rooms. Oh, God, I'm so excited for this movie. If you can hear it in my voice, I got trembles. (laughs) I got the pimples. (laughs) Ah! (laughs) (laughs) You need to relax. Relax. Don't do it. Just sit back and take a breath. I breathe. (sighs) (laughs) <sighs> <laughs> What's he doing? He's in the corner breathing. <sighs> if I breathe like that, would you have me on the podcast anymore? <sighs> What'd you I'd, do? I walked up the steps. I'd probably uh, take you down to the urgent care and get your <laughs> lungs looked at. This is really fucking urgent. He keeps having <laughs> weird orgasm faces, and I'm not a fan. <laughs> and I was all like, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so good. What about boy, the boy, boy, boy. What's up? The Lion King trailer. You see that? The I have not seen that. Ooh, ooh, S- ooh. It's live action, like, like CGI. I yeah, know. like the, as close to live as you can get without yeah, getting without, your toes like, wet, without having to like train a bunch of fucking animals. Like me. <laughs> like, oh, that's a fucking lion. What am I supposed to do? Pick him <laughs> up, hold him like this. Nah, <laughs> Simba. <laughs> oh, I always wanted to be the Rafiki just so I could smack people up with the head, like stick head. <laughs> <laughs> you got bucket head, then you got stick head, and he just comes out stick. <laughs> he has one string attached from his forehead down to the belly button. But yeah, Lion King looks really good. I'm I, excited for it. I heard Dumbo's good. I think my mom went to go see that. I think she just told me that's pretty good. I feel like. But I heard it makes you cry, and I don't yeah. like movies that make me want to cry. Like, I'm. A, I'm an emotional person. I don't have a soul. So. <laughs> I don't like, like to feel I, bad when I'm looking at this stuff. Yeah, like I don't I don't want to be the only guy in the theater that like doesn't have a tear coming down because then I'll feel awkward. Oh, just like... get like some little fucking misters. Just... <laughs> just drop some visine in there. Yeah, visine. What are you doing? I I <laughs> don't look at me. No bookies. <laughs> Star Wars, eh? Hmm? Star Wars, eh? Never been. You never been a Star Wars guy? Have never. you seen Have you seen one full movie of Star Wars? Not even a little bit. The older ones are kind of a little bit harder to watch just because they're old. They're, they're older <laughs> ones. the The one with like Darth Maul and everything. I think it was Revenge of the Sith. Yes, 
you know the names. <laughs> I know all of the culture. I've just never seen the movies. Like, oh, okay. Like Lego Star Wars, when that game came out on Xbox, I played the shit out of it. I fucking remember that game. Dude, Lego games were pretty solid. Yeah. Like, yeah. just for being a kid's game, you guys got them stories. Lego Batman. That, I've only ever played Lego Star Wars. I never played Lego Batman, but one of the boys had it, I think. They tore it up for like a day or two. Then they got bored. Have you seen duty. the Lego movies? We've seen Lego Batman. I heard that's really good. That was funny as fuck. Like, yeah. I don't know how they did it. They made it adulty. <laughs> adulty. Because there were some hidden jokes in there. Oh, boy, it was there. <laughs> uh, wanna swing from the chandelier. I'm the chandelier. All right, this is the last uh, <laughs> See, ah. TV movie thing that we got. The trailer for... American Horror Story Season 9 came out. 1984? Yeah. I'm excited it, for it, I'm too. I'm really excited for that. Yeah. Like, taking it back I'm, to the I'm slasher days. I was going to say, are they, like, because me and Jess were looking online to see if there was, like, any severe events that happened in 1984, and we couldn't find everything. But now that you say, like, the slasher movies and shit, that's when they were, like, priming it up. Yeah. Makes all the more... I want, like, an Alfred... Oh, uh, Alf. Alvin Alfred. and the Chipmunk vibe going to it. No, Alfred Hitchcock. Like, like Psycho? Yeah. Like, <laughs> some fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre yeah. type shit. Now, believe it or not, that dude can carve some fucking ice sculptures like crazy. Yeah. He's... Mostly because he's been digging at people with blood, but... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I still haven't seen season eight. That was... That was the... Uh... I Actually, now that you say it, I don't think we have either. Because that was after... Shit, which one? That was after Cult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I forget what it was now. I don't have my phone to look. I, you do. Well, we will find out in about fifteen to two and a half minutes, <laughs> depending on how fast like, I can move my toes, fingers, 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 not toes. That that'd be impressive. Let's see you do a Google search with your feet only. <laughs> No, it doesn't work. It's not touching. Oh, I think I just put my ball. <laughs> just one. Yikes. Cool, I got four more backups, so we're good. <laughs> like Dr. Evil. One, two, two three. three. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> oh! Way to go, a-ho! <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> what? Oh, Apocalypse. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think it was that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw something about Wasteland or some shit. That sounds. Yeah. I, I can't believe I haven't looked at that yet because that that gives me that Fallout vibe going. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the baby driver. No, the the baby from season. Shit! What season was it? Uh, the hotel one. Maybe. Maybe because the there was. I'm but, trying to think of like how they would go back in time. They have to go back to a season far enough to where it was before 1984. Yeah. And there was only a... F it either could have been a hotel or... Not Hell House. No, it was either season one or season two. Yeah. What was season two? Season oh, two was two. Asylum, I think. Okay, well then it wasn't that, because that takes place in like the 60s. Um, Fuck, I can't remember. There's, no, I think so season one, there was like a baby that was born, and I think it's supposed to be like the Antichrist or something, and that's oh, Apocalypse. Oh, the fucked up baby up. that had the jacked up face that lived in the basement yeah, or whatever? Yeah, yeah, or up in the attic. The or thing whatever. that yeah. would like yeah. around the floor? Oh, that thing scared the fuck out of me in the yeah, face Yeah, I'm pretty on sure it. in Apocalypse, he's like grown up now, and he's like the Antichrist or something. Really? Yeah. Oh, dude, I need to fucking see this yeah. shit. Like, <clears> I, I want to get like uh, Mad Max vibe from it. I still have not seen that movie. What, the new one with Charlie Theron? Yeah. Oh, it's good as Fury fuck. Fury Road or whatever? Yeah. Is yeah it's it good really as fuck? good. Yeah. I heard that it was like nonstop action, fucking great yeah. music. Mm -hmm. oh. That's definitely worth a watch. Yeah, I might have to dive into that. You'd have I... to, as you say, gander at that mountain. Oh, I do gander at mountains. <laughs> <laughs> look at the fucking hill. Don't look at it. Kind of mountain. <laughs> you ever snort fire ants? But yeah, I'm excited for American Horror Story to go back to like... The roots, kind of horror, you know. Yeah, not 
so much as like modern day psychological thrillers and shit. Like right. what they did with uh, one with like the uh, elections and that was cult, right? Yeah, yeah, that was like the which I mean clowns going into yeah. the house and stuff. Yeah, it's more psychological and stuff. Yeah, but... oh, I mean, which I mean, I I understand why they did that. They can't keep on yeah. recycling the same thing over and over again. But it's been a few yeah. seasons. Yeah, but I like back. I like season one where it was like the haunted house. I like, think that's good. Yeah, season one, two, and like three were my favorites. See, Coven, I don't know. I don't like witchcraft stuff really. What, like was, Coven know. was three, right? Yeah. What was the one after? That was Freak Show. Yes, that one. Was, Freak Show was the shit. Yeah, I like Freak Show. And then after that was, was not f- not Roanoke, right? Hotel. Yeah, Hotel. Hotel. Which, then which Ro- was oh, Hotel was it okay. It might have been Roanoke then Hotel. I can't I fucking know. remember. There's been so no, many seasons. No, it was Hotel and then Roanoke. Yeah. Lady Gaga was in both of them. Yes. But in Roanoke, she was just the weird tree woman or whatever with the sticks in her hair. I don't... Oh, we watched Roanoke. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Roanoke was okay. Roanoke was the one with they the... Made, they made it like a reality show. Yeah. Kind of. the, where like they where they, they were the doing reenactments or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's cool that they're trying. They're yeah. going out, like, branching out to different avenues and trying different things, which... Because when, like, Cloverfield came out, that was the first fucking, well, I mean, besides paranormal activity and shit, where you fucking first-person view the whole entire time. Oh, yeah, like the found footage type thing? Yeah, but at the same time, like, I can only handle so much of that, just because right. people got some shaky hands, and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I've never seen Blair Witch Project, which was, like, the first movie that I've was like that. I've never seen that, too. I heard it's scary as shit, though. Mostly because I felt like it was going to fuck me up. Like, yeah. I saw Signs, and that little part in that movie fucked me up. So, oh, Signs was no. so sketchy. The, the only part in that movie that was the scariest thing, two parts. When they're, the camera footage, when they're in Mexico at that birthday party, and the alien walks in the backyard. Dude, that was like, oh, my God! I almost died, came back to life, screamed, then died again. And then the when they were in the basement, oh, fucking the, when the it reached through that, or whatever. yeah, when they reached oh. to that fucking grating or whatever and grabbed that kid. Oh, oh my god, fucking nanu nanu, bitch. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty intense. See, but I feel like if aliens ever came here, they wouldn't fuck with me because I'm weird. They're like, yeah, science was M Night Shyamalan, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the only good movie he's ever made. Uh, I think so, too. And I think it helped. Joaquin Phoenix, or uh, Joaquin Phoenix was in that. I think that he was his brother, maybe. Maybe. No, I can't fucking remember. But, yeah, Mel Gibson, before he got racist. <laughs> oh, Mel. <laughs> well, back when you're doing Jesus stuff. <laughs> uh, oh. I, don't, I can't say, because... Uh... Split was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Yeah, Split. Uh, what was the first one? Gla- well, Glasses. Unbreakable. Yeah, Unbreakable and then Glasses. I didn't the see Unbreakable one. and I haven't seen Glass yet. I feel like Unbreakable would be good just because I like Bruce Willis as an actor. Like, he's he's really good. And uh, isn't Samuel L. Jackson in that? Yes, because yeah. he's in he's Glass. Yeah. Dr. Glass or some shit. That's so cool. Glass. They're making the new Avengers! We're the Revengers. <laughs> We gotta change the name for copyrights, but <laughs> we're way cooler. So speaking of post-apocalyptic stuff, Apocalyptica. Have you seen the trailers for this new game coming out for PS4 called Days Gone? Not at all. So, Enlighten me. So it looks pretty sweet. There's not a whole lot of info on it yet. Um, we're just getting the talk rolling now. No, it comes out like April 26th or what something the fuck? like that. Why are, why are they not promoting their shit? Well, they are. Like, there's trailer. Like, the only reason I know about it is because on Hulu they play a trailer for it every uh, like five minutes. Um, and I'm, I'm like, you know, if you but, yeah, I tried, I tried Googling about it and like literally all the only info on it is so you're in a post apocalyptic world, but it's also a survival horror game. So there's a bunch of zombies. So it's kind of like The Walking Dead, I guess. The Walking Dead mixed with like fucking well, Walking Dead's apocalypse yeah. anyway. So yeah, yeah. So I guess like what there was some type of like disease outbreak or something that wiped out humanity, and there's all these zombies, and you're one of the only survivors. Kind of cliche. Yeah. But um, the cool thing is like it's an open world game, and you get to ride around on this motorcycle, and you can like <laughs> you can like find parts and like customize your motorcycle and stuff. So you're getting a lot more like interactive. It's, yeah. They're, you're mixing kind of like. What was the game? I can't remember. Where you get to like customize all of your shit. Fallout? Well, kind of like Fallout. Yeah. Sure. I mean, they're mixing, they're taking like something from Fallout and like a few games. Yeah. That's what they need to start doing. Like, pick all the best qualities from like five or six games and make one awesome fucking game. mash it. 
And I have been having an idea for a video game, and I'm going to put it out on the nerd shit right now. That way it's copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take my brain. Dude, think about a video game to where you get to make your own superhero. Like, you get to, you start off as, like, a person, and you choose which way you get to, like, like, say, you know how Peter Parker got infected with, like, a spider or some shit. There's certain things that you can go, like, choose your own adventure route, but you be, choose what kind of superhero you turn into. That'd be pretty cool. Like, oh, hey, I want to be able to be invisible or fly and make it, like, a fucking mass open world thing. Like, you can team up with other players and stuff. Like, you have to have specific qualities to be able to, like, finish a mission or something. Like, you have to have somebody that could be invisible, somebody that can run super fast, and somebody that could, like, fuck somebody That'd be up. That'd cool, like, different, like missions or whatever. Yeah, like it's based to, on yeah. like what you are and you could interact with other players to make shit happen. That'd be cool. I was like, you know, I don't think about shit often, but when I do, <laughs> golden pony boy. So yeah, don't take that. That's mine. I'm going to create it in a day. What about, could you be a villain though too? Yeah, you could, you could choose what kind of superhero or you can choose to be the bad guy. That'd be sweet. You could choose whatever the fuck route you want to go with. You could be... Super Saiyan, who knows? <laughs> That's what they need. They make. They need to make. Yeah, a video where game. you can be calm, antihero, fucking whatever you want. So they need to make a video game where you're a bad guy, and the goal is to just be as destructive Fuck as the city possible. Up. Yeah, that'd be cool too. Twisted metal, but better. <laughs> we're gonna destroy your city with some clown cars. Oh, dude, we're we're just making this awesome game now. If you guys want to buy our game that doesn't exist, send us sixty dollars, and we'll probably give yeah. it to you in about fifteen years. Go fund me. Go fuck you. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Fucking wow. <laughs> Fucking wow. <laughs> I, got, so, I got some funny stuff happening. <laughs> let's die. Or wait, before we dive into some music stuff. Let's just This is ooh. Autumn and I got into an argument about this. Like, <laughs> like it was pretty heated. I want to know the context. Now. So we're part of this thing. Like it's like. Kind of like a Facebook or whatever, but just for, like, the community where we live in. Oh, so like, like a group and shit? Yeah. Yeah, like, neighborhood interaction online yeah. or whatever. Somebody like, we don't really talk to our neighbors. We just post in this, like, forum type thing. <laughs> <laughs> just so you guys know. Be- because it's 2019. Fuck talking to people No, we don't knock on doors. You better text before you head over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't knock on my door because I'm not getting my fucking ass up to watch it. Or This is not Three's Company. Don't no. come and knock on my door. <laughs> we will not be waiting for you. <laughs> um... Anyway, so this person post, subject line, missing dogs, or loose dogs. It was loose dogs, which makes sense to me. That's good. Are they talking about, like, loose dogs? Like, these dogs have been getting impregnated all over the fucking streets? <laughs> no. Like, dogs that... Your are... dog's a fucking whore, Karen! <laughs> <laughs> like, loose dogs as in... Not they're, in their they're house. They're not on chains or on leashes. Oh, or they anything. are they're, unleashed. They, they are feral. They are just roaming oh, the for land. For real? <laughs> <laughs> so it says loose dogs. And then it says in the body of the thing, someone's dogs are missing. They are at the intersection of this road and this road. So I read that, and because, as we've talked about, like you and I, like our brains are weird. Yeah. <laughs> I read this and I say... How are the dogs missing when you know exactly if, where the fuck they are? If you're giving me their location. <laughs> Go pick them up I, right now. See, you have my... I say this to Autumn, and she goes, are you a fucking idiot? Context, context, context. Yeah, and she's like, that's not what they mean. They mean like the dogs are missing because they're not at their home. And it's like, I know what they mean. I know what they're trying to say. But the wording. But the sentence says that the dogs are missing, but then it gives a look. Loca- that's like saying, I don't know where my keys are. They're on the counter. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Don't tell me. Like, oh yeah, they're missing from this address. Please, either you know, bring them back to this address or yeah. give us a call. That would be a lot more. Cause we're not dumb individuals. I feel like they could be like misconstrued so easily. No, but I, I I agree with you. Thank you for having my back. I appreciate that. <laughs> back to Ann. But so that I'm asking, I'm like, well, can you at least see where I'm coming from? Like, you understand why I think this, right? And she's like, no. You're fucking stupid. <laughs> and then, like, so, like, me, I can't let it go. I'm like, I'm not. I'm gonna Google this shit and I will prove it to you. No, I'm like, just say, 
that you understand what I mean. Like, just say they, it. they can't be missing if they have a location. Like, those things don't work. And she's like, no, it's not what they mean, though. And it's like, well, it's not what they said. Like, I get what they mean. Say what you mean. Mean what you say. Right. Like, I had a teacher in school that was, like, really big on that. Like, you can write the sentence saying this. And it could and, be, like, you flip a couple the, words yeah. around. Different meaning entirely. Right, exactly. Like, you need to choose your words carefully so you actually, like, mean what you say. Because you could write out a sentence meaning one thing, but then someone reads it. And, and you do mean something totally. That's different. why texting, you cannot barely show emotion in text unless right. you got emojis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crying wink face. Crying wink face. Ha! <laughs> I'm so happy. So, ah! Yeah, so email us at uh, the Nerdshed Podcast at gmail.com and let us know if you agree or disagree that something can't be missing if you give a location. <laughs> <laughs> but how could it be undead if they came out missing? Scary movie too? When uh, Anthony Anderson and Kevin Hart were arguing about undead, woke up dead. How can you wake up dead if you was this in alive? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, shit, that's some real stuff. <laughs> oh, God. I can play back parts in movies, but I can't recreate it with my mouth. Have it's you watched here. Kevin Hart's new stand-up on Netflix? I have not. I oh haven't seen that much God. from Kevin Hart in the past few years. He's been it's... through a lot of fucking controversies. <gasps> There's a big-ass spider fucking scaling down over there. Oh. What's up, dude? Ah! He's dropping so fast! Okay, I, well, I need to kill spider roll. Ah! Oh, kill switch. Engage. <laughs> oh, can you take a book and just... Dude, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Dude, let him drop into it and then just smash it in between. And then you can have his body imprinted on the page. Well, I... Oh, don't do those for those books, though. Do you have here, any? Here, I have a notebook. <laughs> oh, he's gonna bite through the paper. Oh, no, 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 dude. What if you become Spider-Man tomorrow? Will you like swing me around with you sometimes? <laughs> yeah! Woo! Fucking stop that yard! Oh God, we are basically a fucking nice gang. <laughs> we get together on Saturdays and just fucking spiders up. For the most of the time, I will leave we're, spiders alone unless I see them. We're gonna have to do spider checks before the show now. Like, yeah, just like scan the room. Yeah, because oh my god, but if one dude, because if one lands on me in the middle, of show, like I'm not afraid of spiders. I just don't want them to. Yeah, to I touch don't, me. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm cool. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, sorry, bro, Nux. All right, we out. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, that was a dandelion of a burp. Yeah. Anyway, Kevin Hart is on. Uh, his new special, it's pretty solid. I'd recommend you watch it. It's, it's I'm I, down for some stand up. I didn't like his Netflix special he did before this one. I didn't think it was that good. Like I like his like first two that he did. That yeah, Netflix, like when he before he kind of hit like superstar. Fucking. Like like the one that pe- like the controversy was saying like the one where he's talking about is him being afraid that his son's gonna be gay. That was hilarious. <laughs> he was talking about real shit, but right. now it's flopped. You can't you can't kind of say shit like that. And comedians, even fully, like people know that they're joking. That's their job is right. to be funny or try to evoke some kind of emotion out of you. <laughs> now you can't do that. Like people will. F- <laughs> what the fuck is up with this airline food? <laughs> it's unreal. <laughs> I don't know where I was going. I got lost with Seinfeld. So. I was like, oh, <laughs> fucking, um, Fusa. like, do you remember when there's all that controversy about Dane Cook because he made the joke yep. about the Batman movie and getting shot because of how awful it was? I vaguely remember this because it's been a while since I and, heard DC in the news. And like, that's what you do, though, is like <laughs> as a comedian, you take these real life situations yeah. and you exaggerate them to make them funny. People will get a kick out of it, even if like. I don't know, you're the most fucking diehard, like, personist. I don't know what you would call that. Humane personist. person? Personist. Like, someone for, like, human rights? Yeah. Okay. A, a activist, that's what we'll call him. Yeah. Human rights activist. H- humanitarian? Yeah. Is that you, what they're you, called, you maybe? You should be able to separate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! We got there! I don't know. I think I just broke myself. Excuse me while I break myself. But yeah, like, why don't they... It's Yikes. not... I feel like it's not that hard. Oh, is it stopped? No, we're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It stopped about half an hour ago. <laughs> We've been talking to ourselves for the past 45 minutes. We got it on video, though. <laughs> oh, heck of a. Anyway, continue with your point. That's faster than that. I'm at 4417. Uh, excuse me. 
Uh, yeah, it's your time up, all right. It's anyway, so continue quick. with your point. You have no idea what I was talking about. So. <laughs> something about a humanitarian. Oh, yeah, being able to separate the difference between <laughs> comedy and real life. Right. It's not that difficult. Like, use part of your brain. You got this. Okay, we're good now. Hi! How do you Whenever I get, like, a new present for Christmas, I'm like, oh, my God, look what I got for you. Any hoozles. Mmm, my favorite kind of snack. Um, what about this Nipsey Hustle thing? That's kind of <laughs> relevant right now. I go. That was like one of the fucking. That was a sad thing because he was one of those rappers that did like so much for his community. See, I'm glad you know about this because like, I see. I I never really listened to Nipsey. I've Hustle never music. heard of this dude until like last week. He came out the same year I think uh, Wiz Khalifa was starting to get big. Okay. He was in the exact same like graduating class. Okay. For those guys, I think there was like, uh, can't remember the rest of them, but there was like five of them on a the cover and shit. But I looked it up. I guess he got nominated for a Grammy for Best Rap he Album. He is like, like I, I've, I've never, never listened to any of his music, but yeah. I will respect the fuck out of somebody that will give all their energy back. Like, right. When you have police like upset that you were murdered, you know, you fucking, you made an yeah. impact on that whole entire community. He was one of like the remo- most respected fucking rappers in the yeah, game. As of, I, I think, was reading about it, and yeah, I heard that like yeah, he gave a lot back and was just like really yeah. big in the community. Like and... he was like an actual human per- being. He wasn't yeah. like I, none of this shit's gonna get to me. Like oh, I know exactly where I came from. Give it right back. Yeah, and that that kind of that that will make you latch on to somebody more. Like I would be willing to listen to his music just because of that fact. Like, yeah, I, I still haven't ever heard anything i haven't like, either but yeah. i respect the fuck out of the dude yeah. so good for him yeah but he they had like his memorial service at the staples center i guess which is like the last person to have that done was michael jackson yeah like he made a fucking i think what well, he lived over in cal it was los angeles i think actually. yeah i'm pretty LA. sure like compton area yeah and, like he had yeah. like fucking centers and shit setting up and stuff yeah. and he was like working to set up even more shit yeah, there, I, I guess there's a bunch of conspiracies and shit behind it, but I don't like feeding into that shit Oh, yeah, anymore. I heard about There was a bunch of fucking <laughs> everything popping out about it. Yeah, yeah, I heard, I can't remember it exactly, um, but, like, this guy was talking about, like, how the people drove up in, like, a white Chevy Cruze, and Cruise means this and something, <laughs> and there were two guys in the car, so, like, that two is times two, s- symbolic four, of this. and Four, April... Fourth, yeah. and and they shot him five times. Five means this times two divided <laughs> yeah. by six right. equals negative four. And like, that's... It, like there's a video I'm sure you can find it online of these <laughs> guys, just, these two guys, just like trying to connect these things that aren't related at all. Congratulations, trying you just to make made it a something. Theory. Nothing happened. <sighs> like I'll get it if there the, you have some factual evidence behind your conspiracies. Like, throw me some proof. Yeah. Speaking of conspiracy theories, I want to go back to the black hole thing really quick because I forgot oh, to mention sun? this. Don't you come. <laughs> oh, that too. So, two points I forgot to make about the black hole. Two, two. One, there's like a petition thing or something to have that black hole named after Chris Cornell, which would be sweet. That would be. That would be <laughs> uh, fucking fantastic. Yeah, because Chris Cornell, bro. Right. But then, point number two. Oh. <laughs> there's this there's this group of like you know typical right wing conservative yeah. men <laughs> that's a mad man their conspiracy theory is that we really didn't take a picture of the black hole that that is like CGI or like made on photoshop or something that picture and that they're just saying that the woman who like led the research for it or whatever they just wanted a woman to do something good in the world. So they made up this whole thing that she led the research to discover this black hole just to make a woman look good. It's like, I, dude, come on, you really believe that? Like, Yeah. I mean, <laughs> no, no, because I feel like the amount of time and energy and this female has been working on this since she graduated high school, I believe. I was reading some articles and stuff to like seeing what inspired her to do this shit and stuff. And I think there was like a comment because everybody's like, "Oh, like this is the first woman to do this since 
I think it was NASA. I can't remember her name either. I'm not good with names. And this goes for all genders. So, no offensions. <laughs> offensions. I'm sorry. That's a new word. We're going to have Jeffreyisms now. <laughs> Convolations. Convolations. <laughs> that was on the best of, or not best of, uh, the uh, behind the scenes. You're reading something, and it was convulsions, but you said convolutions. We're going with convolutions from now on. Okay, I'll have to go back and listen to yes, that. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. The Baja Man. Eh, hey, Boss Gluffy! Boss Gluffy! Okay, anyway. Yeah, any of this. I don't know what we're talking about now, so. You're talking about the NASA girl. Oh, son. What? The NASA girl. Oh, yeah. Uh, there was one <laughs> back in the 60s when they first got onto the moon. There was a female that, like, helped lead that project. Did we really moon. land on the moon, though? Boom! Yeah, see, how do we know anything could be fucking CGI? That movie's not real. Hulk <laughs> yeah, doesn't yeah. look like that. <laughs> <laughs> I got so excited, I spit on myself. <laughs> I just shit myself. <laughs> I just fucking shit myself. <laughs> oh, God, we're getting super moist in here today. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's still in there somewhere. Like, <laughs> If you are trying to spit and it just got rejected fully onto your body? No. I have. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Ever try to spit in the wind? Ever try to piss in the wind? No, because I know that you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, no, don't do that. Don't piss into the wind. Back to it, all waves. <laughs> or if you go like this and you catch a nice breeze coming this way, it'll fucking curve it like wanted and make it go around you. Dude, that'd be sweet. Piss NATO! <laughs> <sighs> What's he doing? He's so yellow. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the John Diss. No, he's got piss. <laughs> John Diss. Uh. Oh my Ooh, god. That one came from the bellows. <laughs> right. Like that one like started, originated <laughs> like, in the butthole, moved to the ball sack, then came up. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Hee ho! All, right. All right, last thing I got. Ooh. We got nine minutes, Lovin' roughly. is what I got. <laughs> I said, remember that. Okay. Do you wake up in the morning? Feeling like. <laughs> slap P. Diddy? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> slap <laughs> shoes on your feet. Early in the moment. Oh. Driving through. Sorry, I said the lyrics wrong. Light me up their cigarette and I'll strap you to me. Do you have a Dalmatian? Yeah. No. Got to find a reason. Reason things went wrong. Okay. Got to what? find a reason why my money's all gone. Because I have a spending <laughs> problem. But <laughs> Have you heard this Old Town Road song? Number one song in the country I right now? I have not listened to it. You haven't heard I... it yet? No, because I've seen oh every God. single fucking meme and all these new things about Billy Ray Cyrus coming back and you reunited com like fucking communities. Mm. What the fuck? You just crossed over trap and country? Not so. Country. That song was on the country charts. Didn't they take that off of the charts? They took it off, though, and of course, because everything has to go back to race, they took it off because he's a black dude. And it's like, no, they took it off because if you listen to it, it's a fucking rap song. Yeah, it's... It, it's you, <laughs> Like I'm just all for, just like, because like it's a little bit country and it's about yeah. a horse doesn't mean it's a country song. But at this stage in life, I feel like in the past, like me and Jess were talking about this yesterday, the past five to ten years, country music's not country music anymore. No, like, it, if you want country music, go back to the eighties and seventies right. and shit. No, it's pop with a southern drawl. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. You guys are Katy Perry's of the country world. Right. It, it's the truth, and I mean, I mean, I, Keith Urban looks like a woman, so. Yeah, yeah. Dude looks like a lady. Aerosmith, Steven Tyler with his like triple C's now. Triple C's. Triple C's. Not the drugs, but. Four seed and cough and cold. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> so this guy, Lil Nas X, made this song. I'm pretty sure that he just played Red Dead Redemption 2 and was like, I'm going to write a song about this He, he might have, because I saw Be him in an interview. <laughs> I, I did see an interview with him in it. He had a big-ass fucking cowboy hat on. Yeah. Like, floral fucking cowboy shirt on. I was like, dude, you know what? Do you, boo-boo. Yeah, and uh, he, I guess the song went viral because of that TikTok app or whatever. They yeah. had, like, it was called, like, the Yeehaw Challenge or something like that, where you <laughs> sing to a country song, but, like, he put his own song on there. Oh. So... So then it went viral. And so the first time I heard the song, I was like, this is fucking stupid. This is the worst song I ever heard. But the more I hear it, because like people are talking about it and like making Constantly. memes and videos and the more I hear it, it's like, it's like growing on me and I'm really pissed off about it. 
Like I want to hate you so much, but I can't listen. I can't listen to the Billy Ray Cyrus version though, because like I think his voice sounds awful. He sounds like an yeah, old man that's about to have uh, an aneurysm. <laughs> hey, he's been through a lot of stress in his life, so. <laughs> but like the original one, it's like, it's growing on me and it makes me sad. <laughs> I, I just wanna, wanna not do that. You wanna get one of those like cool Men in Black fucking neuralizers, or whatever. <laughs> can't remember anything right. for the past two days. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's what, what my I need. brain does. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, ski, ski. Gosh darn. <laughs> yeah, but it's a, it's a rap song. Yeah. You... About a horse. Like, Which, I mean, hey, fuck it, whatever. Like, it's cool that you, everybody's crossing genres over, but, like, you gotta make a new genre for this shit. You can't consider it country or rap. It's crap. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> but, no, it's, it's a rap song, like... I feel like if you had like does, does he have some like good flows and shit behind it? Or does he like No, it's it's a mumble rap song. Oh, okay, so like it's, you could tell me that it's modern day rap now. You could tell me that Future made that song and I'd be like, Oh, it sounds like Future to me. Future. You like Future? I'm I'm I am more into like nineties, two thousands rap than I am modern day rap dude you need to like the mumble rap like there's some gems in there oh i i mean yeah i've listened to a few of them just because what like jess's brother and sister and stuff listen to it more different stuff i never got into it but i don't mind it i've never been the only genre of music that i despise is country music yeah same but i can handle older country oh yeah you give me some of that like 60s and 70s stuff like conway (laughs) twitty I've never listened to Conway. Me, they're but... only on fucking Family Guy. But, but yeah, like it, like the stuff where it's not overproduced and like yeah. fake. Some Willie Nelson yeah. shit. Yeah, Johnny Cash. Like, um, more modern though, like Hank Three. Like that's some good shit because it's like dirty bluegrass type stuff. I do like blues. Like what we were talking about earlier, you throw some saxophone and you get some like fucking. No, I'm talking shows. bluegrass, not blues. Like straight up. <laughs> Banjo, and then there's the guy in the back with the jug just going, <laughs> he fucking got bro over here, <laughs> yeah, spooning yeah, it so up, spooning man. Yeah, he eats ice cream in his off time, <laughs> always got the spoons. Just <laughs> one, two, three, go. He has like the trench coat with like all the different size spoons. You want what do you need? You need a soup spoon? Oh, I got you, bitch. <laughs> That's seven dollars. Borrowing it. I'll get it's, it's made out of titanium. Yeah, it titanium won't bend. Dick. <laughs> Whoa. Gold member. No, titanium member. Titty member. Aluminium. Anyway, after the podcast, I'm going to play Old Town Road for you so you can jam out to it. <laughs> I would play it right now, but I don't want any copyright infringement. And we don't want to like break some eardrums, so just in case. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want anybody to jump off a bridge. Yas Quain. Yas Quain. Yas. All right, well, I think that's all we got then. This yeah. Week. Uh, Any last words? Uh, Fucking check our shit out. Yep, that's it. Yeah, um, just to give you a refresher before we get out of here. Go refresh, and... you know. Yeah, refresh. <laughs> refresh. <laughs> Way to throw a bang inside joke. <laughs> I was such a um, refresh child. <laughs> um, Nerdshed.net, you can go on there. That's our website. You got all the info about us. You can see our faces. Yeah. You can see our links, and then you can touch those links. Uh, you can watch Nerdshed TV on our YouTube page. Dude, YouTube's doing pretty solid yeah. too. We're getting close to yeah. 500 views. Yeah. Um, and then you can listen to us on iTunes, Spotify, Google we, Play, we have YouTube audio versions. Um, there, literally any any spot that you go to. Yeah. You'll find it somewhere. There, there's like some downloads I see, and it's like I don't even know what that is. Like, yeah, there's like, like some platforms. They have like third like, party sharing fucking like, apps that can get podcasts on yeah, it. Like, we don't even know. Podcast Addict or something like that. Like, yeah never heard of you but okay um, thanks for having us yeah we didn't put it on there yeah and then email us or facebook message us we've been copyrighted yeah the the email is the nerd shed podcast at gmail.com and the facebook is the nerd shed yeah <laughs> drop the the you just got nerd shed i have some bds eyes right now i can see your face <laughs> okay <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this week. Thank Just you for like listening. Just a condom. Keep it safe. <laughs> yeah. Bye, guys. Bye! The Nerd Shed. New episodes every Sunday.